I'm Stoic Dan. Today is the next in the series on coping with the pandemic, and the topic today is bubbles. Specifically, it's the idea of a quarantine bubble. It's uh, designed to reduce loneliness, and these ideas came from an article in The Conversation, the online news source. First, how do you build a quarantine bubble? Well, a bubble is only selected friends and family whom you're going to be associating with. You can't include everyone in your life, but only the select friends and family that you trust. Also, for everyone in the bubble, they must agree to a set of rules. And if one feels ill, then it's time to self-isolate. Secondly, the author of the article, who's an epidemiologist, suggests that you cannot risk, you can't eliminate risk completely. So by using a bubble, you reduce the risk and only associate with certain people then you can avoid other trips outside the home. And finally, the study showed that bubbles do cause some spread of COVID, but it's much less infection than being in public. So the bubble does not imply that you eliminate all risk. Now I've just included some of the highlights today. If you'd like more information, then you can search for quarantine bubbles. And there are two other terms. The other, it's uh, also known as a pandemic pod, and a quarantine. Well, I'm going to leave you with a quote from Seneca. He said, I'm not born for only one corner. This whole universe is my homeland. I hope you'll use reason to avoid risk in the pandemic. Thanks for watching.